Brent, this afternoon, just after 3.30, Masonic Air's leadership uh, updated me on their COVID count here. Currently, 40 residents and 21 staff members COVID positive. As restrictions in the state lightened with the numbers decreasing, uh, we started to be extremely concerned. While the state loosened restrictions on nursing home visitations at the end of August, Masonic Care did not. Since March, they've only permitted compassionate care visits where the patient is nearing the end of life. There is no way we can contain and protect nursing homes if we cannot control this in the community. Masonic Care says visitors must answer a comprehensive list of questions and have their temperature taken and their COVID task force meets daily. We have weekly testing for employees and residents. In some cases, we're testing twice a week. The 61 positive cases at one time are Masonic Air's most since May, when they recorded 11. As of today, um, every employee at Masonic Air Health Center is being fit tested for the N95 mask, which is the gold standard in masks. Most of the patients who tested positive were roommates. What we've done now is we've moved all positive residents to both of our isolation units. Which are quarantined areas with no exposure to the rest of the health center. When we're testing our patients, our residents and our employees, what we're finding is oftentimes folks are asymptomatic. They say contact tracing hit a fever pitch last week. We were fortunate enough to be you know, running a healthcare center that had been COVID free for many, many months. We knew when it came in, it was gonna come in the front door. And since the beginning of the pandemic in March, Masonic Care reports four residents have died with the presence of COVID, but three of them had already been in hospice care. We're live in Wallingford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.